Hey everyone, it's your girl Nova here and I'm back with another Sims 4 video. I got inspired today to build in the Island Living expansion pack and I turned out to be a one bedroom with one bathroom, little condo and it's just beautiful. But not only a single family can live here, this property can be turned into a rental or it could be turned into a little vacation home that your sims can visit in Sulani. I would say this world is one of my favorites out of the Sims 4 expansion packs. Just because of the way it is. It's just so beautiful in here. So relaxing. And come on, we got mermaids. <laughs> come on now. What do you guys think? Please let me know. I had in mind this to be kind of a small size. I didn't want it to be a big size. So I built it on a 20 by 30 lot and well actually 30 by 20 but yeah and I mean there was space for everything I had a beautiful kitchen with the dining area the bedroom was pretty decent size with the bathroom next to it I was also able to do a little deck area in the back which turned out to be beautiful I wasn't even thinking of making a back area um a deck area because I just wanted it to be on the land like nothing related with the water but then after like I just kept building and building and I just decided to do the back area because island living is just so beautiful and all of their items in there and just just their furniture is just amazing and I just had to put a deck area with some things included from the island living I actually have never built anything like this. I have never built in the island living. I mean, it's just in general, I haven't been really building like that in while playing Sims 4. I just have always just played the Sims and not really cared about building. But recently I started building and it's really fun. And especially in this island living, like the world is just beautiful, man. And yeah, this house just really fits the vibe. I mean, Blake, please don't even get me started on how long it took me. But I mean, it didn't take me as long as it usually would. It took me like three hours to build this, but speeding it up really helps watching it and just reviewing it and stuff. But yeah, it's just really beautiful house. It does not end up looking blue. So this blue is going to go away at the end because I just didn't like it. I mean, I thought I would because of the fence and stuff. But it's just a lot of colors in this game do not match. Like the brown colors always are a bit different. So it's hard to find like the perfect shade of brown. And just in general, like a lot of things are not always going to perfectly match. But I tried my best, like as you see, like I changed a lot of the stairs with the coloring and the fence. So that's why I end up changing the blue at the end, just putting it white, just something simple. It's wooden again, but it's just white, like the whole house. And it just makes the house look like kind of classy, kind of bougie a little bit because in the inside is kind of nice. It's pretty clean and stuff. So I wanted the outside to look pretty clean as well. So that's why I go for those kind of safe colors, you can say, like blue, light blue, light brown, like browns and stuff. Those are pretty like easy colors to work with. So because I'm not really good with like coloring and stuff. But with some time, it will become easier for me to pick colors and just decorate and build in general. Because like, like mostly I have issue with building the house, like getting the shape. But this time I tried harder and I did smarter. And I picked the rooms where they're going to be first. I thought about it in my head like okay on the left side is gonna be the kitchen with the little dining area and the living room and on the right side should be a room on the right side there should be a bedroom and a bathroom so yeah like it it's just you gotta like really think about it before you start building so you don't so you're not at the end like oh my god I don't have space for a bathroom or I don't have space for this and that so it's just like thinking this through 
before you actually start committing to it like building and stuff like you got to think about it a little bit and then start but of course i'm just learning from my mistakes and my experience with building because i just have never been building as i said like this is just all new to me but i'm here now learning and just loving every single experience that i'm having this house would be just really perfect for a couple that don't have kids and don't have anything to worry about and they're just here to get out of the busy town and come for a vacation because it really could be turned into a vacation lot it doesn't have to be only a place where they live it could just be a place that they come and visit for a little bit like i'm even thinking of just building a little couple that lives here maybe even they could be mermaids i don't even know I mean, it's mostly the vibes and it's just the community here that just makes it so calming and just chill and relax, like, vibes in here. Like, I live in Florida, so <laughs> building this is just was so calming for me. It's just the blue colors, the ocean, the, the wooden things are just, it's just my favorite because I live in an area like this. So yeah, that's why I had to put fans around the rooms because I know I know it'd be hot there. <laughs> I know it's going to be really hot in Sulani, so there better be some fans inside and air conditioner and stuff. But anyway, I painted the whole house so I don't have to worry about the wallpapers later. I mean, I do change a couple of times because I was looking for a light brownish color but i really like that texture like i just mostly used i like things from the island living because i mean i am building a property in the island living so it, it just makes sense for me to use the pack and just use what they have in there i do end up using the light brown like this this light brown for the whole living room area but i changed it to not having this detail on the bottom because at the end i just didn't like it i did like it in the beginning but then after it just got a little too much and because i wanted some color and i was thinking it could be blue counters to look like the ocean you know but then it got a little too much like it's a little too much blue so i think i ended up changing it to just white counters so it's just pretty clean inside it just looks really clean and like a really nice like area that two sims can just come in or even like more than two sims can come here and they could just have a party or something throw a party and just relax jump in the pools that's why i added this barbecue area in the back and like a big table in the back so there's more sitting areas like you don't have to only come here to sleep you could just come here have a house where you can just cook eat and stuff and just go out like explore the town the traditions and everything this world has to offer i was over here a little bit stuck on these windows because right here on top of the on top of the kitchen i wanted like to cover it but i did not like this one i just didn't like how the edges of the curtains like look because they were a little too thick to go over the the kitchen but i do find something that i like to put there over here like it was the same thing i just didn't like like i need like a little rail in the middle to kind of connect if i put two curtains on the side like i need something to connect in the middle and i couldn't find that so I just put the put what came from Island Living and just use some other curtains that would fit. But I find another curtain that would fit in like later on for the kitchen. Um, also, I was thinking of like adding a little window right there on the side because it was like the bedroom, and I just thought of like seeing like the outside. But then it was a little too much. Like I just didn't want to have a full blown out glass window right there, just <laughs> while you're undressing or something. So I just didn't add a window there, and I was thinking of like at least having some windows there for the bedroom. So I just added those same ones that I've been using around the house. And I'm just going around literally just doing the fundamentals of this build like I 
had my all my wallpapers figured out so I can just start now like placing the bed and stuff so I start by doing the bedroom I do place a little computer area there because there was no other space anywhere else so it, it was just perfect to have it in the bedroom but because of the desk there there wasn't space to put like a big closet area so the the closet that I do end up putting it's it's a it's a pretty decent size it's a white one pretty pretty nice um, but hopefully whoever comes here doesn't have that much baggage because it ain't that much closet space for that <laughs> Because I wasn't worrying about that. I was worrying about how this house is going to end up looking. So I did not um, give them a lot of closet space. But it's okay. They have a little nightstand. They end up having they end up having even like carpets all around the house. Because it just makes it cozy. Like any house with some carpets just make it cozy. And just make it feel like they've been living there. People have been visiting. And yeah since this room felt a little too small because i wasn't able to add a closet i did expand it a tiny bit just just like a little out so even like the corn the little i guess you could call it a little hallway because i put a little wall where it just divides kind of <laughs> like where i could just put two doors there i just expanded it a little bit so there's a little more space in the bedroom and i do end up putting a little closet area and yeah this one i was talking about um because it's it's compact it still looks like a pretty pretty decent size it's just not a big one like i it was not the island living one that i wanted but it's okay this one still looks clean and it still matches the room with the little mirror there that i do move around like 20 times around the room but it's okay i added like plants around the whole house again like just make it feel like you are living on the islands and but some of these like plants that we have like they always in intersect with the walls so i was just looking for the perfect spot to add this plant because it was so beautiful from the island living pack but it was just like always interacting with the wall and just intersecting there so i just had to kind of fit it in this area where there was nothing really going on like right behind the doors because i don't like like all the plants that we have like inside plants like I only like like few of them because they don't interact with anything and they just look good. Well, some I don't like because of how they look like the bottom, the bottom of the vase. I just don't like it. There's just some that I do like, but they interact or something. Always something happens. So I just have to really dig and find the one that I'm looking for that would fit perfectly in here. I am right now going into the bathroom and I decided to make it this like because of the 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 colors on this bathtub like I do not like them at all I don't like the texture inside of the bathtub like there's like little like swirls inside of it like I wanted to use it I do end up using it but I don't like like it like like love it love it you know what I mean um because of the little swirls like it's just the 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 texture of this bathroom was not my favorite but i do end up using it and making it work for me um i i did i wanted a shower there i wanted a butt tub, bathtub because i mean right after the beach you want to take a shower but of course some nights you want to take a bathtub you know relax a little bit Oh my god, I just thought about it. I should have put a jacuzzi in the back. I forgot about that. I'm just thinking. I just thought about this while talking to you guys that I should have added a bathtub. Because I'm thinking about relaxing in the hot water and stuff. But yeah, I do end up keeping that bathtub. Because, I mean, it does look pretty nice. I just don't like the inside of it. Just a little, just the details inside. Also, the sink was like that too. Um... Also, like, it's really hard for me to find, like, pictures that I want because, like, none of these pictures, like, really match. Like, what am I? I was thinking of putting a clown in the bedroom, like, a clown picture, <laughs> but that would have been too much. Like, that's a little too much. And, yeah, just, you. I think I just end up using some decor from Island Living. Like, it, it, there was no, like, really pictures except that one next to the um, to the main door. Um, this three picture one connected to each other because like 
I, I just couldn't really find yeah i just couldn't really find something that i really like so i just end up using from island living decors and stuff and it still ends up looking really cute at the end same thing goes to like carpets and stuff in this uh, sims 4 like i just couldn't find like carpets that really are gonna match perfectly like i want it like just most of most of our carpets are pretty like crazy colors i couldn't find like something simple and something that would just though i just wanted like a white carpet maybe even grayish kind of i do end up putting like a colorful another table but that was just because i wanted some more color in here but yeah i was just looking for something like white grayish that would fit this island house anyway now i'm working on the back area a tiny bit i wanted it to have a little like some stairs going to a even lower level where just some lounge chairs are just there and i do put some glass um glass floor so it's even more cool looking and i really end up loving that part like it's a little detail it's a little um detail that just makes it makes it even better the whole house this is when i change the whole house and i'm thinking if i should still keep this blue on it but i just I just ended up removing it and just making the whole house white because I just wanted the outside house to be like white because most of like houses in Florida they're not like crazy colors because as I, I said I live in Florida and Florida just inspired me to build this a uh, house today um, but yeah like most like most of the houses in like Florida are like white with brown with black like mostly black too like they're not like crazy colors like with blue on the outside so i just that's why i just put it on white but i still wanted to use the wallpaper from the island living and yeah just like with like a nice white house with some like dark brown windows and that's what i was really going for let me know down in the comments below if i did good by making the whole house white or i should have kept those accent colors on there but yeah, the build is pretty much done. I'm just going back now in the house and well, around the whole house, just putting details and lights around the whole house. Um, oh, well, of course, we haven't really finished with the front yard, but that's that's like at the end, pretty much. I do go back a little bit um, inside the house again, just adding a little tiny details, but it's nothing major. The house is pretty much completed. I was over here thinking like for a while if I should be adding a landscape in the front like this I mean but then I thought like the whole world has it so why not because like I was thinking like you know it's on an island like it's right on the beach is there like really plants growing like that there but I did so it covers like a little bit so it looks like more presentable in the front because the back looks really nice like I love that little pat patio area with the with the little lower level i did where people can just lounge over there but here for the front from the for the front i was looking for bushes that could like um be a little bigger so the bigger bushes look in the back and more lower grass in the front but i couldn't really find like big bushes in the back so i just put these like yellow flowers with some grass around and yeah I, d I do put this like um swing set that is not for kids because there's no space for kids here but adults can use it and just have fun with their friends or whatever but yeah everything is pretty much done i'm just adding like a little more details just looking for more grass uh because we can never have enough grass all right and yeah I did think of like putting like a little bench in front uh, of the house but I, I did not want to move the whole house backwards again because I've moved it a lot and I just wanted to I didn't want it to be like that much things there's already like a back area with the whole barbecue inside there's a big table you have a nice a pretty decent sized living room like everything was pretty much good amount like I did not think I needed more sitting area on the front so i just didn't add anything else except that little swing set and yeah just landscaping and stuff oh my god i'm sorry my dog is barking in the back he wants to be at this house too all right he's happy for this build as well as i am 
this build really turned out good I did have some issue like I kept like changing these wallpapers because for some reason the game would change them for me like I come back like I was doing landscaping on the outside and I come back inside and the wallpapers are changed like messed up or something and that's why I little I changed the bathroom to this one um, to this wallpaper because it matched um, the it matched the floor with it and I also matched um, I think yeah I just matched a lot of the details of this build so that's why I changed again and this is where I think that I should put it as a dark brownish but I ended up changing it to again light brown because I did want a little accent color but I didn't want it on the kitchen so I just put a little bit on the living room behind the TV with this stonish kind of detail I really liked but that's it was gonna be a little too much if I kept that dark brown so that's why I changed it to again um, lighter brown but also no detail on the bottom of the wall just plain just the version of it but plain no detail and this is where all good things must come to an end and I'm just finishing up things, putting some doormats in the front, um, just fixing up because I wanted um, to, f to fix that curtain issue on top of the kitchen. And I do end up fixing it by using um, this one from, I think it's from uh, the farm pack, the Henford O. Bagley, like that area, uh, if I'm even saying it correctly. But yeah, I'm super happy and satisfied with the way this house turned out. I hope you guys are happy with it too. Please let me know if you watched all the way until the end. It means a lot. And comment that you did. And I'll reply to all of you guys. Love you guys. And peace out.